wouldn't have the term PDA if it weren't for Apple. As everybody knows by now, Apple created the category and launched the first product, Newton, back in August. So we'll begin our look at PDAs with a Newton. And here to show us how it works is Tony Espinoza of Apple. Tony, give us a little tour of the box first. Okay. Um, this is the message pad, and it's what we call a communications assistant. So I'll show you the communications okay. features. There's a serial port. You can connect this to printers and Windows PCs and networks. Mm -hmm. There's also an infrared port. Mm -hmm. So that you can pass information wirelessly between two Newtons. And of course, there's a PCMCIA card slot for adding software, RAM, uh, or perhaps a, a wireless messaging card so you can receive mm -hmm. messages anywhere you're at. What are the brains inside the Newton? There's a high powered RISC chip called an ARM 610 powering it and uh, a preemptive multitasking object oriented OS on top of that that we can show you now. All right, would you please show us how it works? Okay. This is the notepad, mm -hmm. and I've got a number of notes that I've written to myself here. Notice that they're all different. It's up to your personal style how you want to format things because it's like a piece of paper. You um, can scroll down, see various things that I've drawn. You can use handwriting recognition to input text. Mm -hmm. So Show I me. can use cursive uh -huh. or printed mm -hmm. or a combination. Okay, Pretty and cool. it deciphers that, mm -hmm. cleans it up. I can go ahead and draw graphics as well, and all this without changing modes. You nice, nice and sloppy, and it knows. Nice and sloppy, you, it and it's still lit. Right, okay. exactly. Understands things like various shapes mm -hmm. that you might want to draw, even a circle. Okay. What else can we do? Okay. If I want to erase something from the screen, all I have to do is scrub it out, just like. Boom. Just like you wish paper. Okay. And uh, I can even scroll up and show you that you can edit these things. So computer users would probably be used to manipulating objects uh -huh. on the screen and stuff. So this will give you an idea mm -hmm. that you have some of those capabilities here. Mm -hmm. You can also use uh, what we call electronic ink, mm -hmm. so that you don't have to use recognition. So just store it as an ink file. Just store it as an ink, and mm -hmm. you can manipulate them the same way, expand and contract. Okay, what else? Et cetera, et cetera. There's a routing slip that you see here in the corner that we use for accessing the communications. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see this slip over and over again. It's the envelope icon, and from it you can print, you can fax, you can beam, mail. Let me show you how you do that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to a letter that I already have written out. Um, it's to a colleague okay. here has both text I and graphics, graphics in there. and I even have a little signature at the end here. Mm -hmm. If I click on the routing slip, um, I can go ahead and select that I want to send this to Bob mm -hmm. and say fax. Okay. Huh. Now, there's an object-oriented database with all this information inside, so Newton's connected Bob's fax number with this document. I can say format this into a letter mm -hmm. um, and choose to preview it. It'll so it has a kind of letter template in it and automatically does exactly. it. Exactly. It actually knows my letter The way head. you like a letter right. to look, okay. So here's the cover sheet that mm -hmm. it generated. And this is a look at what it would look like in an 8.5 mm -hmm. by 11 page, centered graphic and reflow right. text, and there's my letterhead at the top. Now I could send this to my outbox so that when I plug into a telephone line through a modem, I can go ahead and send it out. Mm -hmm. Or if I was connected some other way, go ahead and send it now. Okay. There are a number of built-in applications that are available to the user. Um, there's a Rolodex file names for keeping track mm -hmm. of names and addresses. If you wanted to call one of these numbers, all you'd have to do is tap the number, and it would bring up a slip. Mm -hmm. And I can tap call. Hold the phone up to the speaker, and Newton would actually oh, dial well. the phone. Yeah. Okay. Huh. There are others. Again, you'll see this routing slip here. It's important to point out. Um, you'll see it again and again. I could print this. I could beam my business card to you if mm -hmm. you had a Newton, yeah. um, or mail it using Newton Mail. Hmm. Another built-in application we have is a scheduling app, kind of a date book. Um, here's the to-do list portion of it. Mm -hmm. um, I can easily go to the calendar, and there's a look at my agenda for today. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of organizational software yeah. to keep track Before of Before we run stuff. out of time, Tony, show me the interface with the PC we have over okay. here. Okay. Um, in the extras drawer is an icon for connecting to the desktop. Uh -huh. I can connect to a Macintosh or a Windows mm -hmm. machine. Here I've got the Windows version of what so we call the So this is the connection. same letter we were just looking at exactly. inside Newton. So exactly. you just dumped it through the serial port right. into the PC. And it's a standard Windows interface. So I can go through and look at things like my calendar as well. And this is the same calendar you had in here, so you can dump up and back. You've got the same data desktop. Right. So I can create data here mm -hmm. and load this thing up with data. Or I could make changes here and actually reconcile the information so that if the secretary changed a meeting mm -hmm. here, I'd walk around with the, yeah. with the proper Okay. That's Newton. Great. Thanks a lot. All right. The success of Newton as an information platform will depend largely on how many applications are developed for it. So within weeks of launching Newton, Apple put together the first Newton Developers Conference. 
1,500 developers have applications in the works for Apple's Newton, and a number of them showed up for the Newton Expo, an event designed to introduce the public to the growing list of applications available on Apple's PDA. It's not just all about horizontal applications, but particularly also vertical applications for specific markets like the medical market. There are several companies working on applications in the medical field, in the pharmaceutical field, for the transport industry, for the car industry, in the insurance industry, and so on and so on. One new application designed for physicians is called Hippocrates. It lets doctors make notes on case histories, enter a diagnosis, or write prescriptions on their Newton while they're on rounds. Other programs include this one that evaluates your golf game. But the real focus is on communications applications for Newton, such as paging and wireless messaging. Because the system has been developed from the beginning in a modular way for the communication industry of today and in particular of the future, we will see um, that in the near future, a lot of new applications uh, and specific uh, ways of communication can be adapted and adopted into the Newton platform. Developers' response to Newton's release was enthusiastic because of Apple's decision to go with a broad licensing program. Now they will see products from Motorola, from Panasonic, from Sharp, and many others, Siemens, Rome, and so on, come into the market in uh, the coming uh, 12 months. And for them, that is a proof for success. So, therefore, they are so eager to develop all those applications. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Jonelle Patterson.